Hey guys, welcome back to Sony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dropship on Teemo. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering, how do you dropship in Teemo? So currently, directly dropshipping from Teemu is actually uh, kind of not possible as of this moment, but there's going to be some things that you can do to uh, make a workaround around this one. So currently, we'll be using Shopify. Now, in this case, how do we actually get started? So first things first is you need to have an account on Team. So in this case, make sure that you have an account. In this case, at the top right here, you should be able to see your name here. Or if you haven't logged in first, you should be able to see the sign in or sign up button in here. But once you've created your account, we're now ready to start adding our Teemu products into our Shopify store. Now what we need to do here is we need to go to our Shopify store here. So go to shopify.com, log in into your account, and also make sure that you have your initial setup done. In this case, once you've done that, let's go to our product section here. And under products, what we need to do next is we need to look for products that we want to add. Now in this case, let's go back to Team here. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to search for a product that we want to include. So for example, let's just slow down a bit here and maybe we want to have this product here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once you click on that product, you should be able to see a list of products here. So by the way, if you are going to the deal section here, it's going to give you the store itself, but let's go ahead and click on the actual product here. And as you can see, there are going to be some details that you, be, you should be able to see regarding this product. So what we need to do first is we need to copy the title of the product. In this case, let's go ahead and copy the title itself. Right click on it, click on copy. Let's go ahead and go back into our Shopify store and click on add product. Now what we need to do next is we just need to add our title and also the description. Let's go ahead and go back to our product here. Scroll down a bit here and look for the description section. Now in this case, make sure to include all the details that you'll be seeing here. And as you can see, here's the details section. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on see more. Let's go ahead and copy all the information that you see here. In this case, let's go ahead and copy this one go back into your Shopify store, paste it, and also include any images that you see there. Now, in this case, once you've done that, all we need to do is we need to fill out all the details. In this case, let's go ahead and go back to your product itself. And from here, let's go ahead and choose this product here, right click on it. And from here, let's go ahead and open this in the new tab. And from here, I click on it again and click on save image. And from here, we want to click on save. Now from here, let's go back to our Shopify store, click on upload new. And from here, let's go ahead and go to the location where we have our image. And from here, we should be able to see it. So if you don't see it, make sure to you are in the correct folder. Now, by the way, if the image is in this format here, what you need to do is you just need to open up your snip here on your windows. And from here, let's go ahead and make sure to have a snip of that specific image. So let's go ahead and snip this image here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the file at the top left here. Click on save as, and from here, let's go and go, go ahead and save this on downloads. And let's just say this is going to be a hoodie. So let's, let's go ahead and include the color itself. And from here, let's go ahead and click on save. Now let's go ahead and go back into our Shopify store. Click on upload new again. Go to your downloads here and click on the hoodie. Click on open. And it should start uploading the image itself as you can see right now. Now also we need to include the pricing itself. So to add, uh, um, basically identify the pricing of that product is you just need to look at the product itself and as you can see currently it's it's being sold as $10.89 as of this moment so in this case uh, you could go ahead and just indicate whatever price they have here but we want to actually add, add, add a little here since we want to have some form of income from it so let's just say it is going to be around $12 now, also, if you want to make this on sale, you could just click on the compare at price here. And basically, uh, whenever you include a compare at price here, it's going to be included as a, a different uh, price. In this case, maybe we want to add 15 here and just indicate that 12 is the way it's going to be the price itself. Now, in this case, you could also uh, indicate the cost per item here, the profit, the margin itself, if you want to. And also, we have the track quantity itself, if you want to. 
So in this case, uh, if you want to, uh, we want to uh, basically add the following. So maybe we are going to only sell like 10 pieces of this product here. And also we need to include some shipping uh, details here. In this case, let's go and go back into our product here. So in this case, we need to look for a uh, specific weight for this product here so usually you should be able to see it in the details section but if you don't see it you could go ahead and just look for some other sections here that may include some of the details that the uh, that we are requiring here in this case go ahead and look for it here so if you don't see the weight on the actual product page here what you, you could do here is you could just start using google to estimate the actual weight so typically, Sudis are going to be around 0.5 or around 0.45. So in this case, let's go ahead and just include it's going to be around 0.45 or 45 here. In this case, you could go ahead and add custom information if you want to and add variations if you want to. Now, in this case, variations is going to be for you to determine if the hoodie is going to be gray, black, white, or brown. So for example, I'm just going to add gray here. And I also want to, uh, let's just say I'm going to add si uh, size or color first. In this case, let's go ahead and add gray here. And we also want to add also black. In this case, let's go ahead and click on done. Now, if you want to add another option, let's go ahead and click on add another option. And we will also want to include sizes. In this case, let's go ahead and go back into our product here. And what we need to do is we need to choose products. So currently, you could choose from the following sizes here. So in this case, we want to go to standard here and we have small, medium, large, XL, and XL, XL. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose size here. And we want to add small, medium, large, and we also want to include extra large and also extra, extra large. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and just click on done. And as you can see, we now have added our variants. Now, in this case, now from here on, you could just click on the save at the bottom right here. And once you've done that, your product should now appear on your product page. Now, in this case, uh, how do you actually start uh, delivering your products to your clients? Well, in this case, what you need to do is you just need to wait for them to actually order something from your store. In this case, typically, whenever someone actually orders from your store, it should appear here in the order section. And typically, this will also include their details. So it includes their address and some information that you need to make the order itself. So once you receive the order, you can just go back into your team account, just click on add to cart. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the correct information here that you've chosen from your store. And from here, let's go ahead and click on add to cart. Now, in this case, once it's actually added to your cart, what we need to do is go back into our page here, click on the cart at the top right here. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to select the products that we want to ship out. In this case, make sure to select the product itself. And from here, what we need to do is you just need to uh, basically uh, check out. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.